flip for you. Mm -hmm. This is one of the blacks for Trump. That's oh, the, uh, he's oh. in front of Mar-a-Lago holding a sign that says I Trump 2024. Mm -hmm. uh, this gentleman, I, I guess I'll call him a gentleman, uh, listen to his comments in regards to this possible Trump indictment. Listen to this. I'm not here to defend President Trump, the greatest president America ever had. Y'all be already told me in 1984 that President Trump is King Sai. And so I'm out here to defend. Get out of here. And who is the young guy? And we're here to make sure that Alvin Bragg, the sellout, Sambo, slave beating, sucker, punk ass, know that we're going to arrest him when our time comes. He doomed the hell. He made the wrong move, boy. Black Trump. Oh, very I, intelligent. I, uh, I don't know if I can say this on the radio, but there is a strong C word we use in our community. <laughs> and I want to call him that so bad because I don't understand how you're sitting here literally imitating people that don't like you. He's like, get out of here, boy. Like, that's such a slave slave. By the way, term. he's talking about that. Well, he's talking about Bragg, who is the uh, DA in Manhattan. Another a, black man who happens to be black. Yeah, he's that's... calling him boy and he's calling using the slave. By the way, Ridiculous. Sound, I think we all, sounded like a very intelligent guy. Don't get me wrong. I mean, so he, intelligent. he sounded like he was very educated, um, very educated man that takes his time out of his day to hold up a Trump sign in front of Mar-a-Lago. So uh, kudos to him. He sounds like he's he's, he's very uh, courageous. That was that's what many MAGAs would call a patriot. Uh, would you like to hear another patriot? Uh, mm. There were about maybe 10 or 15 people yesterday that were in front of the Trump Tower in Manhattan. Uh, this lady and I use the term very loosely, uh, or I'm sorry, this pro <laughs> this protester, I'm sorry, uh, uh, in front of Trump Tower yesterday, uh, I want you to have a listen to this. I'll just let, let, it, let it air. Back! America! Great I'm dead! My head. Give me a headache. Protest! <laughs> Our national bed! No, please not. Oh, Jesus No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Best part. Clean up on our 46. Uh -uh. <laughs> I swear to God. First of all, I don't, even, I don't even know what she's saying, by the way. I can't. I can't listen, it took me everything <laughs> in my ears to try to ah! tune into that. I don't even know what she's saying. <laughs> she's holding a Trump sign. And there's like there's only like ten Trump supporters, by the way, that are there. There's more members of the media that we'll the get guy to in that. the back. Oh but yeah, like, this lady's just like <laughs> screaming. Clearly, she's mentally deranged. I believe all these people are mentally ill. These are yeah. mentally ill people. You want to hear another funny interaction? Oh, I think we're, I know where you're going. Oh, so <laughs> two Trump going. supporters that are arguing with each other. I knew it. And the first guy that's that's doing this, it, it almost sounds like he's a comedian. And he's doing it to mock <laughs> Trump supporters. But then yeah. we learn like he actually isn't. He's dressed up like the shaman uh, guy from the January 6th insurrection. And he's yeah. like, he's like squealing and yelling and making weird noises. <laughs> and then this other Trump supporter comes up to him and says, what are you doing? Like, are you making a mockery of this? What are you doing? And they start arguing with each other. Right. These two magas. It's priceless. Listen to this. It's sad, going actually. outside the bell. No, but you're acting crazy, bro. Of what? Right. You're like, oh, what are you screaming for? Everybody <laughs> calls us crazy, <laughs> sir. No, 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 we feel like he's not wrong. wrong. I think, I think you're a Democrat. Crazy. Crazy. I think everybody calls us crazy. crazy. I, think, I, think, I don't think I've been rejected by every single community of people Aww. that I've been a part of. And even in the Trump supporter community, even yes, I was picked on and made fun of so much growing up. And, and then I finally feel like I find a community of people that loves me. You yes, I belong. You love Trump? Yes, I love Trump. That's why I'm here. That's why I put all this stuff. All right, all right. You're lying. Well, I had to show you your part, man. Okay. Like you were like acting up, like, like you wasn't. And then he gives this him a, a skit. This has to be a skit. And then he gives him a hug at the end. I, I, I believe you. You love Trump. And then actually, there's one semi-intelligent lady in the back. I'm going. I don't believe him. I think he's messing with us. Right. Uh, no, I think that was actually genuine. You think uh, so? Yeah, I do. I think these people are just very Ugh. mentally ill. These Trump MAGA supporters. Some of them are very mentally ill. Um, and then the other guy goes, "No, you're a Democrat." Yeah, I think that would actually be a good thing. Like you're trying to <laughs> say what you're doing out there in front of Trump Tower, wasting your time supporting donald trump you think that makes you smarter than a democrat like right. I, it makes you a moron is what it makes you anyway very funny interaction there i thought i would play that with you um here we go here's another trump supporter that was being interviewed uh during the protest have a listen to this to look into a potential crime uh, 
Well, it, it appears that there was hush money paid. How many, how many hush money that was paid in the past? And it was way, up. way more money than three hundred thousand, like a million or something like that. You don't think somebody else would be charged for a crime like this? Not at all. Same. Not at all. Except for Michael Cohen, who was charged for a crime exactly like this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that is the guy from Comedy Central, and he's doing these in, this interview with this ignorant uh, buffoon. Uh, and he's, and he's, she's basically saying, um, no, I don't think this could ever happen. You can't be charged for a crime like this. You can't. And then the guy says to her, what about Michael Cohen? He went to jail because of this. Right. And she is totally clueless and she has no idea what he's talking about. Uh, this guy's so funny. Uh, he works for comedy central and he just makes these, these MAGA supporters look like complete clowns. I mean, the lady is basically out there protesting on this indictment and she's completely unaware that Donald Trump's own former personal attorney went to jail because <laughs> of this exchange of the hush Broad. money. And she doesn't even know that. It is hilarious. It's brilliant. She's like, oh, okay. All right. So now let's go to, um, I love this audio. Now let's go to uh, a very funny duo. They're called the Good Liars. They're a very funny, comical group that makes fun of not just MAGA supporters, but they make fun of Democrats as well. Mm -hmm. um, for example, and I've, I've interviewed these guys before. They're great. Uh, so they go to these political events, like for example, Don Jr. had a book signing, and this guy from the Good Liars, uh, this comic duo, uh, shows up to the book signing, and he changes the book cover and says, "Daddy, will you please love me?" And he <laughs> asks Don Jr. to sign it, and he grabs the book and then he gives it back to him. Uh, they go to a Donald Trump event, and they're in front of the event, and they mm. keep yelling at Trump, "This is boring. Say something funny." <laughs> and then Trump eventually like kicks him out. These guys are, uh, they, they prank so many politicians, Democrats right. and Republicans, but mostly Republicans these days. And it is absolutely hilarious. Like they, they catch up with Kimberly Guilfoyle and they keep yelling out, the best is yet to come. And they're just, they just, <laughs> mock, they just mock these people. And they're so funny. Anyway, there's a right wing news organization in New York City mm -hmm. and they have no idea who this guy is. Oh, they have no idea they're being punked by one of the good liars. And this guy just he uh, falls for it. He falls for it. And this reporter's so stupid. And <laughs> um, anyway, listen to this first cut from the this again. This was yesterday in front of the Trump Tower. Has no this this right wing reporter live on TV has no idea he's interviewing one of the good liars. Thinks this is a Trump supporter. And wait, these are the same guys that go out each and every time. They don't yeah. switch up. No, that, it's the, the same two people. It's the same two people. And you're and telling me they don't know this. Doesn't recognize him. Have a listen to this first <sighs> audio cut. It is absolutely hilarious. I think like this is a political prosecution. It it it, it has to be, right? Like that's that, that's the only way it it could be all happening right now is if they're going after him political politically. The only other option is that Donald Trump lost by 7 million votes and is a loser who can't deal with the fact that he, he lost the election because he based his whole personality on being a winner and calling people losers. Uh, so his, so is you think his attitude, his approach, his personality is what is, is, is what got us in this mess in the first place, potentially, or I'm just going to choose to believe that the election was stolen and everything that he says because i kind of like base my whole personality on supporting donald trump so i'm not gonna <laughs> like, maybe accept the absolutely this genius, satire. absolutely hilarious and this reporter who works for some right-wing network has no idea who he's interviewing Clueless. like uh we could go with the alternative that maybe trump did lose by seven million votes but i i base my whole personality and my whole life on donald trump so i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna ignore <laughs> it yeah okay it gets better though in this interview this interview keeps going. It's live. This man does okay. not understand. Again, this reporter has no clue who he's interviewing. And he's just going along with it. Now, this is when he mocks the whole protest in the best possible way you can, Jamie. So uh, listen to this exchange. This is my favorite. Listen to this. I mean, what's your take on this so far? I mean, there's a lot of people out here. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of media. Um, I would say <laughs> just just basically all media. And I guess there's uh, Bra is it Braxton? Braxton. And I see another guy with a flat. It seems like there's about 10 Trump supporters here, but mostly the rest are, are media. Yeah. <laughs> That's when the interview ends. And I think the guy finally started you to understand so that he was getting punk. And by the way, it's not like this guy from the Good Liars was wrong. Right. He was being on. Well, it's going great. I think we got Jimmy over there. We got Jimmy. We got at I least want to know. Yeah. What did Braxton do? Why is he in it? <laughs> we got Braxton over there. By the way, a random Trump supporter there named Braxton recognized who this guy was. And he says, oh, you're the guy from the Good Liars. Meanwhile, the reporter is completely just doing clueless. It. He's a stooge. And he has no idea what is going on. Um, this is what has transpired in the last couple of days. You've got a handful of Trump supporters in certain areas that are just absolutely 
brain dead. <laughs> They're absolutely brain dead. They're just complete morons. Right. Um, listen, you have the right to peacefully protest, but we as members of the media also have a right to point out how stupid you are. Facts. Um, and, and that's exactly what these people are. They're very ignorant people. They're, I think they're mentally ill. Uh, I guess you could be dumb and mentally ill. Yep. I think they're both. Um, these people need help. Uh, they have no education or understanding of what this indictment, possible indictment is. Um, they have no understanding of even why they're there. Uh, in their mind, they're just a Trump supporter. And you remember, Jamie, what Donald Trump said years back? He said, I can shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and they'll still vote for me. That's, ex uh, that's exactly who he's talking about. That's he's horrible. He, he's talking about these people right now. Now, now listen, these people need help. Okay. I'm not wrong. These people are mentally drenched. Whether you're a woman on Fifth Avenue that's screaming things out that with a Trump sign and we don't even know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a woman being interviewed by Comedy Central, and this is comedy, by the way, and you don't think anybody could go to jail for this hush money payment, yet Donald Trump's own personal attorney, Michael Cohen, already went to jail. And it, yeah, How could you be that clueless, number two? Or if you're, you're a right-wing news outlet right. and, and you're interviewing uh, and getting pumped, punked by a guy from The Good Liars, who, who's, by the way, being honest. And they're, <laughs> oh, So what do you think about this rally? What do you think about this get-together? What do you think about this? Oh, well, we got Jimmy over there. We got, we have a lot of media people, but we have like 10 people. It's just hilarious. And mm. now, now listen, uh, when he does get indicted, I don't know what's going to happen. I, we hope that there's no violence. We hope that, um, people Reports say that people, be fine. people continue to, uh, protest, uh, peacefully. Um, by the way, before we go to break, Mark, if you can do me a favor, um, I believe, uh, it's cut number two, uh, the lady screaming. It should be cut number two. I want to play this again because I really don't understand what she's saying. I and and maybe she has an accent. And and all, I, all due respect, that's fine. I'm not mocking her for having the accent. I really just am trying to understand what she's screaming out. Yeah. So if it's okay, Mark, if we could play cut two again, I want to. I, I, maybe Jamie can help interpret what this MAGA supporter. <laughs> How can I interpret it? <laughs> well, well, maybe you can help me out because I need help with this. Let's try to understand what she's saying, and then maybe we can try to interpret it after, Let's Mark, if it. that's okay. So cut number two. Uh, here she is. This is a lady in front of the Trump Tower uh, in New York City. And I just want to play this one more time for you. Here it is. Back! American! Great again! I, know. I understood that. <laughs> protest! Okay, protest. Uh, national Guard! Or who? Jesus! Who? Wait, did you say Jesus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Best part. Clean up on aisle 46. I don't know who that guy is. Did she just moan? She says something. I swear to God. I swear to God. Okay. Well, now what Here's what, okay, so Jamie, you. I'm going to give you my interpretation first. Mm -hmm. Here's what I think she said. And you can tell me whether you disagree or not. And then we'll open up the phone lines at 702-221-7283. Because uh, I want to know what you guys think. Here's what I think she said. And again, I don't know this for sure. Okay. I think she said Donald Trump is a criminal. Uh, I support Joe Biden <laughs> uh, and his administration. And I hope Donald Trump goes to jail because he's a bigot and a criminal. Like, I think that's what she said, but I'm not sure on that. What do you think? What do you think she said? I, I think you're pretty head on with that. I think she also said, hey, please arrest me too when you arrest Donald Trump. 